Oh, it's fine. It's decent. All right, guys. Welcome to episode 165 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly, Low Key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. And listen, man, if you haven't done so already, go get yourself some merch. Go check us out over there on Patreon. And yeah, man, it's a beautiful Tuesday. We're back with another one. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good, man. Fucking beautiful day. Beautiful Tuesday. Um, I hope everyone had a really good weekend. Um, I'm chilling. I got a fucking good good buzz going on. Yeah, I'm bro, we're high. chilling, guys. We're, we're gonna pretty, let you know right now. Pretty lit. You know what I'm saying? It's after work. We out here, a couple brewskis, a couple blunts, whatever. You know what I'm saying? A round of applause to everybody that's joining us, that's doing the same. We love you. We appreciate you. And um, yeah, man. Back with another one. Back with another one. How you want to start this off today, Johnny? Yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. I had a, I had a, I had a crazy weekend, man. To be honest with you, let's yeah, talk I'm about it. Kind of like I'm flabbergasted. You know, flabbergasted. I've never heard him use that word, so I know it's real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to look this shit up and be like, you know what? That's how I really feel. You know. No, so I'm using no. a new word today. You know, but uh, applause for yeah. that. Growth. We, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta grow you know our, our vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck you! No, I was but fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was just playing with you guys. But no, um, we're not. We don't know. You but, never know. <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, man. So I've been seeing this chick for a little bit now. She, you know, she's cool. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> this thing is salty, <laughs> bro. She cool. Nah, she's cool. She's cool. Like it was cool in the beginning. <laughs> you know what I mean And then what happened let's, let's, You so ever met somebody It was that, cool And then like You was vibing For a couple of dates And it was just a vibe and Yeah then, You ever met somebody That's like They just switch up Out of nowhere Like they have like A split personality Or like maybe yes. a, Like something like that Like it felt like It really felt like that Like it was kind of weird I was like whoa You know Cause I took her out previously I stepped, stayed over her house like it was, it was good, you know. Were you think, were you liking her? Like, you know, she's you a black girl, by the her? way. I like black girls too. So if you guys didn't know, again, round of applause for that. You know, stay shout black. Out to, shout out stay to all the, the beautiful black queens out there. You know Facts. what I mean? Nah, for real, y'all are amazing. You know, and I love my Spanish. I love them all. If I you look good, all. you know, if you're pretty, you know, that's a sexist thing though, because we you ain't like so? that with guys. Fuck no, we ain't like that with guys. I don't know. We're not like that with guys. I don't know. Like man. we're the, like we'll we'll like every girl from every race, but as soon as some niggas is talking to you in Russian, you want to fight because you think he's talking shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, going back to it, man, it's just like, bro. So it was good for the start, man. And I took her out one one night, well, this weekend, and it was weird, man. Like I already knew from the start. You ever got that vibe? Like just something something ain't right. You just know it and you're just like, what the fuck? But I just kept, I was just like, let me just continue. Maybe she needs some alcohol in here. Maybe she needs, she had a stressful week. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I'm thinking. Like a normal person. Like some people just had a stressful week. Yeah, maybe wanna... she just has a vent, bro. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm so maybe yeah. She just got a vent. Exactly. So I took her out. We smoked on the way there. We went to the bar. My homeboy's wife actually works at the bar. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a good time. Bro, when we're, we're sitting there talking, it, it kind of gets like on a weird conversation kind of flow. And it, it just got awkward. I'm not going to get into details, but now I'm going to get into details. Um, basically, it was kind of like I kind of felt like discriminated in a way because she kind of said something that was like really weird to me and I didn't know how to react and it's like, you barely know me, you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm taking you out in public and I'm paying to have a good time. You know what I mean? I, we drove there in my car. Like, so I just felt like I was disrespected in a way, you know what I mean? And then on top of it, bro, I got finessed at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Like I really, really fucking did, bro. Like on some Round real shit, bro. And it's to never the really finesse is that finesse of finesse. Yo, I'm for real. She finessed the finesse, bro. But now, nah, yeah. listen, man. It happens, bro. Some people just let's get let's get real, bro. Yeah. Some people are just too focused on race nowadays. Yeah. That's why I told you a couple episodes back. I'm like, bro, I don't even want to talk about it because in 2020, that's all people talked about. 
all people talked about. All people talked about for like a year and a half was race and black and white and black yeah. and white and black and, and white, white and black. It's like, Jesus, at what point are we just going to like grow as people, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, it, everything doesn't always have to come down to race. Exactly. And like, let's not even get to like, I also want to get into the topic of, of like the looks that I was getting throughout the time in my life. Not even just this time, but like of me going out with somebody then a white person if it was like a dark spanish or if it was like a a black girl i would get certain looks from certain mm -hmm. people and it was kind of like that's it's weird it's like i could see it i could, I could see the difference you know what i mean it's kind of weird man it's just a lot of people nah, judge too man everybody's true. everybody's true. racist you know what i mean if, if we can't just say one one type of race is racist i really feel like you know when some people when they see other other like couples you know that are different races together that you know they they find it weird or it bothers them, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, they stare at them like... Oh, grow the fuck up, bro. You know, that's, that's how, that's how I felt. Works, I had a man. lot of stares and shit. I was just like, that's, that's kind of weird. That's how you the world I mean? works, man. But it's true. It's, everybody... It's, yeah. every, I wouldn't say everybody's racist, but everybody sees race. Like, yeah. you, see, you see race, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's just... It's part of human nature, bro. When you see somebody that don't look like you or the people that you grew up around, yeah. you're going to be like... You know, you're going to be asking questions. Where are you from? What, what do you do? Yeah. Like, Exactly. But it's, and so, I don't know, bro. It's and, just ignorance. I yeah, told you. Like, yeah, it, it was at the end of the day, that girl, bro, she's not a girl that you need to be dating. And she's a fucking ignorant girl. Yeah. Because you don't, like, why does everything always have to be about race and about, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's weird to me now, bro. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. And on top of it, like, how she finessed me, because I know people are like, man, so how do you, he didn't get to the details of, of John getting finessed, finesse. you know? So like we're just chilling outside. Where I'm taking her on the way home, bro, and I'm looking for my keys. I got out the car. She's just like, yeah, you know, she already had my blunt in her hand. Like she had the package, and it was pre rolled because I pre rolled like three of them mm -hmm. for the night. And <laughs> I've never seen some shit in my life, bro. She just hopped in the car and just fucking drove off. Wow. With my blunt. Wow. After she told me that she wasn't gonna drink and drive, that was the reason of me driving. And she was drunk. You know what I mean? And I was just like, wow. This is just like, I couldn't. <laughs> bro, don't let, like, bro, listen. Like, I was just like. I say it almost every episode. Like, we're getting too old to be playing games with, with little girls like and that. that was, that's a and, little girl. And I don't it, care how old you are, bro. You ain't mature enough to even start talking about. That, and that's why it was like a split. <laughs> anything. And that's how, that's why I'm saying like in the beginning, how I said it was like a, a split personality thing. Because I already, we went out on a couple of dates already. I stayed at her house and she was not like that. It was really weird. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't know, like, if she just didn't take her meds that day. She takes some... I don't know. People Whatever have that it type. Is, Whatever bro, it is, it's not good for me. Don't ignore that red flag, Yeah, bro. that Fuck was... A, yeah. Here. No, so, you know so after Straight that, up. I was like, yo... So, yeah, that's how I got finesse, guys. It was... She hey, took man. my L, bro. She literally... I took an L, and she took my L. <laughs> bro, that's she how it goes. My ass, bro. <laughs> she fucking, it goes, man. She slid, man. Ultimately, man. bro, I'm telling you, man, like, you, you can't be playing around. You can't be playing around with these with these women, man. Like a woman like that, bro. You're not even. It's like, come bro, on. I'll, I'll never talk to you again, and be yeah. completely fucking fine with it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. it's okay. We'll both be alright. We'll be okay. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead and <laughs> like enjoy 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 what you got going on. You know, and sometimes it's just God. Like, because I had a little bit of feeling. Like, you know what, this girl maybe not might. She might not be for me, but let me just ride it out and see. You know, you never know. Yeah, you, you gotta know? try. You gotta try. At least, so. But God was like, "Nope, oh, nah, you're gonna learn tonight." Don't ever listen. Don't ever ignore that that gut instinct, bro. For real, bro. Yeah, cause I used to do that shit a lot when I was younger. Be like, "Nah, I'm tripping. That shit's bullshit. That gut feeling is bullshit." Yeah, nah, bro. Like nine times out of ten, when I felt a certain way about something, it ended up being that way. You know what I'm saying? It's like you might be wrong here and there, bro. Everybody's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's right 100 percent of the time. Nobody knows it all. You're gonna be wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But listen to your fucking stomach sometimes. Like, listen to your feelings and be like, yo, bro, maybe this isn't the best, gonna be the best thing for me. Yeah. Cause something, there's vibrations. Everything's, everything is, you know, here on a different vibration. Yeah. So if the vibrations don't match, they'll bounce back off each other. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like, a, it's cool. Yeah, it's not. You know, it's cool. So I, I had a, that was just a learning 
experience. You know what I mean? Round like, of you know, for just a let you know, experience. like, you know, I take Hundred L's bucks. too, guys. <laughs> I take L's too. I'm not a perfect person that gets it and scores every time. No, nah, you know bro. what I mean? Like, everybody I, don't score every time. There's know? plenty of niggas that well, are already hit, bread, bro, and got finesse. Yeah, it's not like I didn't hit, guys, because I did. Round of applause for that again. I hit. <laughs> And that well, was on the first now day. Now listen, that's the mission. If you yeah. hit, bro, you're good. Yeah, and that's it was how cool. we look at it. It was a great time. You know, she was a smart girl. She went to college. You know, but I don't mean she, you're smart. But you're not. I but hear you're what not. You're saying. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like she wasn't like. Apparently, a, she ain't too fucking you know, smart. She was a talent. She got my ass. Nah, apparently she ain't too fucking smart. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> like I yeah, would just say real. it again. Apparently, yeah. she's not too fucking. Don't smart. drink and drive, guys. Yeah, but yeah. Um, talking about dating, bro, and all this shit, man. Like. I don't know. Us guys, we, we think different from women, right? And the thing I want to talk about was mommy issues. Like, if men, if men have mommy issues, <laughs> it's true. If men have mommy issues, they're going to look for mommy tendencies mm-hmm. in, in certain women, you know? Like mother instincts and, and stuff that, you, you know, your mom used to do. Right. That's a fact. You know what I mean? So especially if they got... Like mommy issues Like I, I just wanted to talk about that Because it's true It, it really yeah, is No we know? all do it to a certain extent But yeah. it's true Like I've noticed a lot of A lot of my friends that have like Like the toxic mom bro Like yeah. they end up being toxic It's just Bro you become what you're raised around And what raises you Yeah Whatever the fuck Whoever raised you and shit like that Not Not a You know Sometimes people just veer off And go do their own things Like your grandma and parents raise you right But you're a piece of shit Whatever Yeah It happens but most of the time, bro, we're we're pretty similar to what we were raised by. So that's my look on it, bro. It's like you're just we're all we are all a product of our environment. You know what I'm saying? If somebody was in your shoes, they might not be able to handle the way you grew up. Yep. If you were in somebody else's shoes, you might not be able to handle the way they grew up. Yeah, and vice exactly. versa. It's all like everybody has their own story and their own background, and that's what makes that's what makes us all beautiful in our own people. Like, yeah, Nick, like you have a story, he has a story. Like, every, yeah. and then we all cross paths. Yeah. It's weird, bro. Like, the way you look, the way I look at life is like, bro, we're all on like just a journey, and we just happen to cross paths. Some of us cross paths more than others, almost every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But there's that's all you're doing is just crossing paths yeah. on your fucking journey. Yeah. <laughs> like real shit. Like you know what I mean. Like certain things that that I notice too is like you know like. I've seen, I peeped it. You know, my boy, we were chilling and then his girl called him and she was like, hey, you know, um, I'm at the drive-thru. You want something to eat? I'm going to grab something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Little stuff like that. Yeah. You feel me? Like like your mom would do to make yeah, sure you're nah, hungry. Like, you, I, damn, I know he's hungry. Let me just call but him. You know what the, you know, you know what the like instinct that. is with the men, bro? Like we look at that because naturally, naturally, we want a family. It's nature, bro. And you want a good mom for your kid. So you're thinking if she's going to take care of me like this, she's going to take care of the child even better because that's the child. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's true, bro. Like if as a woman, bro, if you're not caring, like that's the thing, bro. We talk about it a lot. Like looks ain't everything. It's beautiful to have a beautiful woman. Yeah. yeah. It's but awesome. imagine coming home to a beautiful woman that rather be on Instagram taking pictures than spending time with the family. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And that shit happens every day. Yeah. Like, shit like that is like, bro, I'd rather have the woman that. Is taking care of the family how how we're supposed to how be it's supposed care. to be fucking done you and we saying? shouldn't and be like applauding and be like oh good job like no that's what you're fucking supposed to do facts bro like you're supposed facts. to be a good girlfriend you're supposed to be a good father you're supposed to be a good yeah you're supposed to do good for yourself that's why I never like, understood adults <laughs> bragging about like bills and shit it's like nigga good for you we, like that's, that's what you're, what supposed, you're supposed to do. do pay your bills every month every month like you're and supposed don't be to late, do that motherfucker. yeah like if you're if you don't pay your bills every month nigga then you're kicked out but like yeah that's what we're supposed to do as men we're supposed to do certain things as women they're supposed to do certain things you know what i'm saying and i don't know bro i don't don't know know, man there's a lot of complaining going on too man a lot of complaining going on but not a not a lot of hustling going on you know what i mean and i don't know man i don't want to hear people complaining about shit if you ain't got your hustler mode on yeah like Facts. for real, for real. Like you complain about this and complain about that. I see a lot on on social media, but like none of y'all are really doing the best that you could do. You know what I mean? Like maybe y'all should start doing different things and yeah, switching shit it. up and trying. Because mm-hmm. as long as you're trying, eventually something's gonna come. Mm-hmm. You know. And what then I mean? if you like doing something and you're pretty decent at it, stick at it. 
Because exactly. you're decent now. In two years, you might be good. In three years, you might be great. In five years, you might be excellent. You know what I'm saying? And now you're fucking... You're a master of your craft. You never know. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, nah, I completely agree with you, bro. I completely agree with you. It's I like, talk to family members. I talk to friends. And, and and it's true, bro. If you're not doing something, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Yeah. I don't, like, I'm not the type of nigga that's like, bro, like, there's a story where Charles Barkley talked about Michael Jordan and how cheap he was and shit. But I agreed with Michael Jordan. There's a dude that was homeless and Charles Barkley was going to go give him like a couple dollars. And he was like, yo, excuse me, you know, I need help. Can you, like, help me? I need a couple dollars. So he went to go give it to him, and Michael Jordan stopped him. Like, he was like, nah, bro. He's like, if he could say that sentence to you, he could say, welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? And that's fucking facts. Like, nah, you're, for real. you walked up to us, meaning you're not missing legs, you're not missing arms, you're talking very fucking well. Nigga, go apply right there. I bet you they'll hire you, or over there, or over there. Or Waffle, Waffle House did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, whatever the fuck you gotta do. Yeah. Like, bro, bro, I've done it all. And that's the thing. People be like, bro, like, nigga, I've washed dishes for 10, 12 hours straight. I've had those jobs. I've had jobs where I'm cleaning up, throw up, fucking doing he, shit on the back of a car. You know I'm what I'm saying? I've had jobs yo. where we were in the warehouse, nigga, busting our ass. Yo. I've had jobs, <laughs> like, nigga, you yeah. got to bust your ass sometimes, bro. Yeah. You I'm know glad, what I'm saying? I'm glad, I'm glad you bringing that shit up because you know what the fuck I'm fucking tired of, bro? I'm Let tired of fucking seeing Let know. people with their fucking families out in the hot sun with a sign saying that family in need. And you using the kids I'll drive right past to get, you No I swear to god I've seen it I've I seen saw it. that at Walmart Yeah no And I've seen that at Publix right I've, I've been seeing it lately bro People nah, bro. using their children Don't use your children here and bait. You're a complete piece of shit Bro you are lazy You're a piece of shit And you shouldn't be fucking here In the United States And honestly bro dead ass. No for real bro There's too much opportunity Too people much money come out here. here Like people come here bro And They come here dead broke Dead broke bro with families and die millionaires. This is one of the only countries in the world that you could really do that, bro. bro. And if you don't take advantage of it, the then children? I don't know what to tell you, bro. The children. They're going to have children sit outside. Bro, do you understand that's the that's, example that you're setting for your child? Bro, that's so bad, bro. That's so bad, bro. You know, yeah, and bro. it's not even a fucking baseball team of kids fucking sitting out there. It's a family, a wife nah, that has four fucking. Thing. It's like everybody looks healthy. And that's the other part. It's like, y'all aren't fucked up. I understand people go through hard times and stuff like that. But, bro, you are a well-capable man. And you're a well-capable woman. Between the both of you, you can make something work. Yeah. Pay for daycare between the both of you. Have enough. You might not have. And that's the thing, bro. That's why you got to be established financially. And we always talk about it before yeah. you have a family. Because now, if you're not, now you got to pay for daycare while y'all both work. You got car payments, maybe. Yeah. You got fucking mortgages or you rent. Whatever yeah. the fuck you have going on, it's all bills on top of bills. Yep. So it's like, now you're fucked. You might not have money at all to do anything besides pay bills and go to work and come home and take care of your kids. That yep. might be all you have money for. And that's how most of our parents grew up. Exactly. Where it's like, that's how most of our us grew up. Where it's like, our parents, like, yeah, they we had what we needed, but we never had what we really wanted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, honestly, bro, that's like, not, you, that's, that's just, not a good that, example, that, bro. That, that that's not a good needs, example. That shit needs to be cut, cut the fuck off. And I'm surprised, like, they're out there for that long period of a time. Like, no one has ever, like, stopped and been like, yo, bro, like, your kid is out here. In the motherfucking sun, bro. I'm pretty sure people have stopped and even offered them jobs, and they're just like, oh, I can't. I'm on disability, this and that. I don't have a license. There's always a fucking excuse. Do you feel like a homeless person? I don't person, feel bad. I don't you feel, feel bad. You feel like a homeless person, like you ever seen the one with the dogs and shit? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like a homeless person should have a dog if they don't have a home? Yeah. It's different, bro. Like, yeah, there's dogs that like. I've seen people that are like, oh, you know, it's not cool. You had that dog out in the fucking sun. That dog that likes you, him more than he likes you. He yeah, probably wouldn't yeah, even go home I, with I you. Saw, I saw the dog, and the dog was like licking his leg and shit. It looked normal because it's dogs like, are bro, well, I don't know. Dogs I don't are know. derived. It's hard. It's dogs are derived from a wild fucking animal. Yeah, they're derived from a fucking wolf. Yeah, a wolf is a wild animal. They live in the snow in the wild. Yeah, like a dog could survive in the wild way yeah. before we could. Yeah, that is that true. is gonna survive, is and we're gonna fucking die. He got to go. That was good. That was a good answer. It's I facts, give you that. Bro. That's true. That's it's true. Facts. That is true. Unless but, it's a chihuahua, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a chihuahua in the fucking sun, I'm gonna be like, no, boy, nah, he's gonna get fucking mano, fried, bro. That nigga's gonna be. A, he's gonna be at Wong Tong fucking soup by the end of the day. He's a shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, nah, but listen, man, you, you got to have some type of hustle, bro. And there's a hundred million ways to get money out here. Listen, this is we live in the in the best era to make money. I listen to Dan Pena a lot, and it's true what he says. He speaks about it all the time, bro. We live in the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the planet. That's what's going on right now with all the cryptos and stock market and this and that. There's so much fucking money out here to be made, bro. And they print the shit every day. Every day. They print more of it. Yeah, man. So you got to think about it, bro. If you don't if you don't figure out your way to get a piece of the fucking pie yeah. at this point, invest I don't know what to fucking tell you, bro. You got you to gotta invest in something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like AMC, man, to the moon. You know what I'm saying? This nigga got fucking shit in Bitcoin. You feel me? Yeah, like, bro. You got to like, ha- have shit you gotta do in different something. spots, bro. Different, like, yeah, it can't just all be in one. But the, the main thing, thing is real estate, too. That's facts. That's big you know, facts. Something that's an actual property that you can own that's a physical object here. Yeah. It'll never lose value, bro. Whatever the currency is, it'll be worth something. Yeah. Whether it's money, whether it's gold, whether it's fucking pigeons and cages or whatever the fuck is going on at the time. Yeah. Like, that's that's what holds its real value, bro. Cars don't hold value. Real estate holds value. And if I've talked about it before, bro. McDonald's is one of the biggest real estate companies in the world. They're not a fucking fast food franchise, really. Like... I've, uh, I've explained it. They own the property that the building is on. Yeah. And then they lease it to you. They don't care how good the food is, motherfucker. They don't give a fuck. It's going to sell anyway. Because yeah. uh, that's another thing. The McDonald's brand has been built so very well, and they know what they're doing. They know yeah. how to market. They know how to bring they people in. They know it's in. cheap. So the money's going to come regardless, and you're going to get your money back. Like, those pieces of property, you see how small they are? Nigga, they're worth two, three million. Yeah. That McDonald's that you see on the corner of a, you're like, oh, it's just a little small. They only got 20 parking spots. Bro, that shit's worth three fucking million dollars. And somebody owns it. And somebody's paying them to use that land. That's McDonald's. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And they own, like, it's, it's and then different, there's, And bro. then there's franchises, and then there's not. You know what I mean? Like, you, bro. You can, that's, it's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool how they do. I seen the, the Netflix series, too, how they started yeah. and shit. It was a guy that took this other guy's idea, bro. Yeah, that's how it goes. Basically, that's how it goes. Bro, <laughs> yeah. most of the shit in history, bro, was was invented by some someone and then just taken by somebody else. Yeah, and it's claimed like by somebody and else. Shit. Yeah. And then, like back in the day, like how the fuck can you prove you, that he didn't invent it? You know what I'm saying? Because if he took, if he stole your idea, he made it. It's like, well, it's like somebody starting a trend. You know, I started this trend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those but the, the truth of the matter <laughs> is, somebody is always the first, and it's usually not the person that gets the recognition for it, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about the first person that started rapping. You don't even know who the fuck that nigga is. But you mentioned Jay-Z, a nigga that came in 10 years later. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You yeah. mentioned Jay-Z to this day. Like, he's fucking God. Yeah. But it's like, the nigga that invented it, you don't know who the fuck that nigga is, for real. Nah, for real. Let's be real, bro. Like it's, That's how it goes. That's yeah, how that shit bro. goes. But the fact that he invented it is legendary because look at where it's at now. You might not even know who he is. But he did that. Yep. It came from him. You see what I'm saying? Like, and when you know, you know. Like, it's a different type of pride where it's like, nah, bro, like, salute to the nigga that really invented this. You know, other people do it better and they've done it greater. Yeah, you know, it's but, cool, but yeah, shout out to the guy that's the OG. <laughs> yeah, nah, real shit. Real Yo. shit. And where what happened to that, bro? What happened to little niggas? Giving the props to the older dudes that actually giving them game. Not putting them, not giving them a gun to go rob somebody, but giving them game, bro. Not for real. And you know what, man? There's some podcasts that do it, like Noriega and shit. Be giving flowers, you know? Round of applause and I, love, I love your show, by the Round way, Round of bro. applause like, to Wallow and Gilly, bro. I'm not going to yeah, lie, bro. Wallow, bro. Shout out to you, man. If I ever have the opportunity, if we ever have the opportunity of meeting you, bro, I just want you to know, man, you a legend. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, your story is fucking legendary, and it's motivational, bro, and just keep doing your thing, man, because you, you're inspiring a lot of fucking people out here, bro. Straight up. Straight up. But, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But fucking. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know if you guys know. We haven't told him yet. Fucking. Listen. Yo, we starting a new season, guys. Listen, we starting a new season. Round of applause for a new season of Dope Talk TV coming out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Woo! been a long fucking time coming. We've been Let's working. Do it. You know what I'm saying? We're coming out with new merch. 
Shit's gonna be sick. Shout out to Kev for working on some shit. My Shout out to, to Jay for working on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to me for working on some shit. You know what I'm saying? When it came to the merch side, shout bro. out to Harry what, for what, editing. He's Harry, been doing a great you, job. You've been fucking doing your shit. You know what I'm saying? John, you've been doing your shit with the socials. It's a team, bro. And We're that's what people do don't it. understand. For those of y'all out there that are watching, bro, it's not a one man band. It's a fucking team, bro. Yeah, Everybody's bro. good at something and everybody does what they're good at. You know what I'm saying, and and that's what makes a machine. You know, that's what what makes a machine run. But shout out to y'all boys, man. Y'all been fucking killing it. Yeah, but yeah, bro. letting y'all know for real that shit. We about to switch shit up. You know what I mean? So bro. it's you know you know you know how Mike Tyson's doing that 2.0 Mike 2.0 2 shit, man. It's dope talk 2.0, man. Yeah, bro. Dope you know talk 2.0 coming. We're, we're about I'm to have you. a lot of different guests, man. We we got a lot of shit going on for Patreon. Facts, you know, and what that's I'm saying? another like, announcement, man. Y'all gonna have to get with the fucking program. I'm about bro. to get a nacho, the spicy nacho shit. Y'all, if you guys want to see me on that, I'm gonna be on Patreon, man, and I'm gonna do that. I'm kind of nervous about bro, it. Y'all gonna have to get with the program because if, if you want, if you want to see John fucking eat a hot Cheeto and fuck his whole life up, you got to go to Patreon. If you yeah. want to see any more guests, there ain't gonna be no more guests on on YouTube. If you want to no see more. us. With the guests, you're going to have to go to Patreon, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, that's just the way that it's going to have to be, all right? But yeah, we're going to have call-ins, you know what I mean? People that are, are members already, you know, you get a free hoodie, you know? So that's that's one of the things that we want to start doing. We want to start doing more giveaways and shit, you know? We've been broke. We're broke, guys, you know what I mean? Listen, man, you got to yeah. get the money up and then not your funny up, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But we going to definitely get... <laughs> we gonna definitely funny up. Facts. We going to definitely get that shit right, bro, like... We uh, gon' we gon' start interacting with y'all more, but it's definitely gonna be over on Patreon where you can do call ins. You know what I'm saying? The more you pay, we're gonna have different packages. You know, the more you pay and shit like that, the more that you have say so you get free merch. You know what I mean? Like once a month or something. Like we'll figure something out. Yeah, you know and what if mean? you like, want us to talk about something, you're paying monthly. You're paying five dollars a month. Real talk. Real you know, talk. you're part or you're part of the family. Yeah, you if you get wanna to call put your in, input. Your if input you wanna matters. call in, it's twenty dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? You wanna call in and be able to actually be on the show. We have a call in button right here. We you could call it straight from your phone and be on the show yeah you know what i mean like you we're can gonna tell, start doing a lot yeah it's uncensored you say whatever you want you be anonymous if you want facts you don't gotta do you know anything you want you know if you want to suck my dick you can too i'm sorry <laughs> hit us up on the d yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> hit me up <laughs> nah but nah, i'm fine. telling you man it, it's exciting bro because we it's been a long time coming bro and I, I'm, I'm hella fucking proud of us man like trials and tribulations bro We've talked about it before, bro. We've been through trials and tribulations. We're still going, you know what I'm saying? You losing losing family, me losing family, like just certain shit, personal life, yeah. personal things, like, and still fucking consistently doing Getting it, bro. Getting finessed. Round of applause to us, bro. Getting finessed. <laughs> she rolled off, man. She she took, yo, she did a, a light lick. Yeah, that's what that's what my boy said. Yo, he said, yo, she, that's one of those memories. Man, it was a heavy one. Yeah. It was a nice, heavy, <laughs> it was a, slow one, too, yo, bitch. Yo, that blood, it took about was, five hours. It was my last blood. <laughs> she she smoked was, the first. First two yeah. went to the bar, drank your shit for free, <laughs> ate for free. Yeah. It was a slow, beautiful lick. Oh, I'm not bruh, lie. she. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's not the only lick she did, bro. She did, man. She, she first of all, back, she got drinks for her. It was like a hundred fifty dollar tab. <laughs> Double back yeah. for more. Yo, we got. I got her wings. Nah, bro. But you know what, bro? I tell my boys all the time: don't be too quick to open your wallet. I ain't got shit for a bitch. Nah, for real. I ain't fucking playing with you. Nah, I ain't got shit. You I need my help. I need help. You need fifteen hundred. I need fifteen hundred. Nah, I don't I, know what to tell you. Nah, I need to stop being so generous. You know what? I'm about to be Only like Dolph. Right ones, no, I'm gonna bro. be like Dolph, man. Yeah, be like Dolph. Dolph was with one female <laughs> since high school. I know. So he had a wife. That's yeah. why to all all the shit you hear him talk on the song, he yeah. really meant that to these hoes. Like, bitch. Yeah. I got a wife. I like, fuck you. Yeah, you got yeah. a fat ass. You look nice. Yeah, yeah. but I got go over real quick. But I'm going home after. Yeah, I'll see you later. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. Hey, man. R.I.P. Dolph, though. But R. anyways, Dolph. man, we love you guys. You guys are fucking amazing. Listen, man, we appreciate every single last one of y'all for fucking coming back and rocking with us. Yep. It's been a beautiful Tuesday. We appreciate you. Don't forget, go over on Patreon, be on the lookout for new merch. And yeah, man, last but not least, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>